Did you know that you can up your manifesting game just by using certain and specific words? Words hold energy. And today we are going to discover a word that you can use, something that you can implement in your inner conversations and in the way that you live your life. And this word, this will keep you in the energy of what you want and it will increase your momentum until such time as you actually manifest your dream. Words have energy, folks, and this is the big one. We're going to kick straight into it, so buckle up, this is sure to be good. Hi folks, welcome to Elevate. My name is Ben, and it's such a blessing to spend time with you every day, so thank you for tuning in. I'm so glad that you've found the channel. If you are new, a great big warm welcome. I hope that you love it. I hope you go away feeling uplifted, encouraged, motivated, and I hope that you'll subscribe and join the family. Join the community that we are building here. I'm here every single day. I never miss a day. And today I want to speak with you about the power of intentional language. There are words that have energy that can move you forward, and there are words that have energy that rob you of all momentum. And it's the way that we use these words, particularly in our inner conversations, that have a bearing on how quickly we get to our dream, how quickly we manifest what we want. And here's the rub. When you ask yourself certain and specific things, and you go on an adventure on the inside with that thought, if you can regulate that with language, you can move forward. If you use a why, not a why like, oh, why is this happening to me? Not a why as in, oh, why is this so hard? Why is it just so difficult? Not a why like, why do I always get hurt? Why is my heart always broken in relationships? Not a why like, why do I find it so difficult? to keep in a non-toxic environment. Not a why, like, why am I always in pain? Why do I always attract narcissistic people? Why am I always feeling unwell? Not a why, like, why do things just always seem to work out wrong? That's the wrong kind of why. But if you use the same language but apply it differently, you stimulate different areas of the brain. And when you stimulate a different area of the brain, you actually get a different response. See, here's the thing. The brain has many compartments and operational centers within it. And the crowning achievement of your own brain is your frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is approximately 40% of the capacity of your entire brain. And it is the frontal lobe that has connections to every single circuit inside of your mind. No other part of the brain has access to every part of the brain, only the frontal lobe. And not only does the frontal lobe have access to every single compartment that's inside of your brain, it also directs the flow of traffic around the brain. So the frontal lobe is, if you like, the boss. It conducts the music, it directs the flow of traffic. Your brain really is just like a super highway of information. And there are connections, they're called synaptic connections. When you learn something, when you have an experience that is new to you, you form a new synaptic connection. And when you remember these experiences, when you practice what you have learned, you bolster and support and then enlarge these new synaptic connections. So if you learn something new, if you're studying and you learn something new and you re-look over it and you re-digest it and you keep going back and reviewing and revisiting it and keep strengthening that learning, what your frontal lobe is doing is it's commanding more traffic down the neural network that has been created, the new synaptic connection. And just like when a road in your town needs to carry more traffic, they add more lanes so it can take more traffic. So too does the frontal lobe start constructing new lanes to this new synaptic connection so it can direct 
more traffic to the new learning. Now the frontal lobe is stimulated by certain language. When we have an inner conversation and we use our why in a negative way, it holds us there. When we use our why, like a, why is this happening to me? Why are things always going wrong? Why am I unlucky in love? What happens is the frontal lobe starts looking for the answers. It's non-discriminatory. So it finds the path of least resistance to a synaptic connection that's been formed with an experience or a learning that demonstrates to you the result and the answer to the question you have asked. So if you ask yourself, why am I always unlucky in love? Why do things just never go right for me? Your frontal lobe goes into overdrive and starts displaying to you all the evidence of why that statement is true. And in your life, you will start perceiving of reasons why you're unlucky in love, why you never have enough, why you just can't break that addiction, why you just can't get through that illness. But if you use your why in a very specific way, your frontal lobe starts creating new connections when you stimulate the frontal lobe with an open-ended question. A why that looks like this. What would it feel like to be healed? To not have this pain anymore? What would it look like to win the lottery? What would it look like to check my internet banking and log in and see all of those zeros there? What would it feel like to be in the relationship of my dreams? What would it feel like to be fully known, fully loved, fully accepted, fully supported and journeying with someone who I'm in the same deal with? What would it be like if all of my dreams just came true today? What would it be like if that thing I've been believing for for so long was actually with me right now? The wait was over, it's turned up and now I'm living in the fullness of that. If you begin to ask yourself these open-ended whys, the frontal lobe starts directing traffic through new synaptic connections and you will start seeing the result of that in your life. Your frontal lobe will cause you to move forward, not backwards. If you keep asking the whys, if you keep asking yourself, what would it feel like? What would it be like? Why would this make such a difference in my life? Why would this be so empowering? Why would this be so fruitful? If you keep asking yourself these open-ended questions, you keep stimulating your frontal lobe and it builds new highways in your mind and you start perceiving of all the evidence that already surrounds you that actually will lead you forward to what you want and up until this point, you've just never seen it. It's not been an option for you because you've not been able to recognize it. But life is simply about connections. And the manifestation of your dream is about connections. The connections that you need are in your life right now. But your brain is keeping you from seeing them because your why is reinforcing all of the experiences you have had instead of moving you forward to the new experience you want to have. And there's one thing that takes you out of the momentum of the energy of you, your desire like that. See, when you keep asking yourself these open-ended whys, it keeps you in the momentum of your desire and its momentum that you need. You need to start somewhere and gather pace and build momentum until all of a sudden that momentum just carries you forward into your promised land, not backwards into the life that we've been living up until now. But there's one thing that takes you straight out of that momentum and it's a question and the question is, how? And we always ask ourselves, how are we going to do that? How does it work? How will the universe do, how, how, will, that, how will that be? How could that possibly be? How, how? We ask ourselves the how question. And what happens when you ask yourself how questions is the frontal lobe goes, oh, 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 he's looking for instruction and we know about instruction. We've got a whole data bank here of experience that we can form instruction from. So let's start looking through the landscape of all of these previously made connections and let's see if we can find something to give him an instruction or to give her an instruction of how. 
And so the frontal lobe looks back through the history of everything that you have learned and it starts to give you the instruction based on results past. But results past aren't the ones we are shooting for. Even if it's been a positive result, you're shooting for something bigger than that now. So if you start asking yourself hows, you pull yourself straight out of the momentum. Don't look for the how. Don't let yourself go down that rabbit hole. Keep asking yourself the open-ended whys. What would it feel like? In fact, I had some awesome correspondence from a beautiful viewer who always chimes in with great energy. You know who you are and I love you so much. And this person said to me, so if I'm believing to win the lottery, instead of saying, oh, I hope that it jackpots this week so that I can win the amount I want, we don't say that. We say, what would it feel like if it actually didn't go off this week and it jackpotted? And what would it feel like if that amount was exactly the amount I was believing for, and just in those two statements, can you feel the shift in energy? It might seem like nuances of language, but the universe is big on nuances. The universe is big on fine details, and if you move forward with this fine detail, as small as you might think it is, I guarantee you that within one week, you will see a change in the results you are getting. Now you must be intentional with this because the frontal lobe is used to directing traffic in a very organized way and that's what has given you the results you have received in your life. You've got to retrain it. You've got to stay away from the hows and you've got to stay away from the victimizing whys. It's all about those open-ended whys. What would it be like? What would it feel like? What would it do in my life? Folks, if you do this, the frontal lobe will take care of the rest. It's brain science. It works for every person. It works every time because we are hardwired in this way. So get the chemistry of your mind working for you, not against you, and you will see results. Folks, I love you so much. I'm so thankful for you. Did this encourage you today? Did you learn something new? I hope you did. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to have a chat with you. I'd love to say hi. I'd love to hear from you. I respond to every single comment that I see. So folks, get in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. Would you share the video with someone? And before you find anything to move on to just now, take another 10 minutes or so. Invest in yourself because there's more you need to know. Either of the two videos I'm popping up on your screen will show you some steps you can take that are going to help move you forward. But make sure you're subscribed. Come and visit me again tomorrow. I love you.